Hello and welcome or welcome back. I'm Bo. And I'm Wynn. And we are trying to get our crap together one paycheck at a time. Uh, so this here is the last week of October, which is technically the last week of October, but also the, oh my goodness, the kitty cat, kitty cat, sorry, cat decided it'd be a great time to walk, oh, to walk across the table. Chaos. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. So last week of October, we budget by paycheck and this paycheck just happened to have ended on the 31st. So wildly convenient. Um, we were running out of space because this is a six week month for us because we have whole paychecks in the month. Um, so it's a little cramped at the bottom, but bear with us, please. Uh, let's get into the transactions. So, um, Kid Copay, $40 on the 25th. Electric bill, $171. And then I paid his debt for $300. Um, and stuffed $130 in envelopes, and I will show you what that looked like on the next page. Uh, then on the 26th, he gave himself $30 in miscellaneous money, gave the kids, gave the kids like little envelope or whatever, $20 for adventure money, and then we had snacky snacks for $5. And then down to the 28th, um, home shopping went over budget by four dollars uh and again show you that on the next page and then on the 31st we stuffed 300 he stuffed 318 in summer pay i stuffed 168 dollars in subscriptions and six dollars for christmas it's christmas <laughs> mm. um so that actually fully funded Christmas. We're very pleased about that. Um, and that's it for our transactions. We didn't actually have that many transactions aside from what was on the next page. So let me show you that. My envelope categories. So let me make sure this is in frame. Okay, it is. So these are my envelope categories. These are all digital except for health. Health I actually do have in cash. Uh, so for the sixth week, um, for groceries added $90, spent 75. So that leaves us with $156 in that envelope in that category. Uh, that means we spent a total of $461 on groceries this month. So that's in the past six weeks. Uh, bulk buys, added $40, spent 50. That leaves us with $6 in that category. And we spent a total of 325 this month. Then transportation, didn't add any, but spent $75. That is for wins uh, public transit pass. He gets a 30 day pass. Uh, so that leaves us with $17, and we spent a total of $188 on transportation this month. And then health, didn't add anything, didn't spend anything, so 516 is left. We spent 387 this month on health. Um, I've been thinking we might need to adjust how much we're adding to health because we've been spending a lot. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, then home shopping, added $4, spent $79. <laughs> uh, so for home shopping, what did we get? Oh, we got curtains. Yeah, we did. And um, some three-in-one oil. And we got when a phone, phone case. case. Yeah. And... I think there was something else, too. We got a bunch of stuff, y'all. We got a bunch of stuff. Um, so, yeah, spent $79. So, we spent a total of $128 on, on home shopping this month. Um, and then for birthdays, didn't add any, didn't spend any, so there's $118. We haven't spent anything on birthdays this month, which is not surprising because 
this birthday fund is really only for two people. Um, and then clothing, didn't add any, didn't spend any, so uh, we're left with $15. We spent a total of $45 this month. Shoes, didn't add any, didn't spend any, um, didn't spend anything on shoes this month. Pet care, um, didn't spend any, didn't add any. So we have $18 and we spent a total of $127 this month. And this is for the cat's food that we make from scratch. So this is like every few months, basically, we spend around $130. Um, and then personal didn't add any, but spent 96. So that leaves us with $2 and I spent a total of $148 on personal this month. Uh, so this $96 was me taking Wynn and the three boys out to dinner. Um, I thought about unstuffing personal, like taking the money out of this category and then adding the amount to dining out. Uh, but I didn't feel like dealing with the extra math. So it remains in personal. Uh, it was a personal choice to go out. We went out to eat with some of my coworkers. At uh, a well, delicious restaurant. Yes. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Personal, you know, whatever. It's really just what I personally decide to spend my money on. It's not always for me. Um, I have discovered that apparently I'm like more selfless than some people. I don't know. I think it's weird. Um, I think maybe you should spend money on the people who are important to you. And I, I, I don't see that as like a sacrificing thing. I enjoyed it. Anyway, um, onward to the budget. Let me make sure we're on the right page. Yep, right page. Okay. So this is the last paycheck that we are closing out right meow. Right meow? So, right meow. Okay. And then Serbs jumps on the table. Yes. Kitty, kitty cat. Kitty cat keeps jumping on the table. Okay, so we're in frame mostly, at least. Okay, so this paycheck budget was for October 18th to October 31st. Um, Wynn's paycheck, as expected, was 965. My paycheck, as expected, was one was uh, $1,433. Um, other un other income was 138 instead of the 141 that I budgeted, and that is because I was mistaken about which um, which month's interest income that I was including in this budget. Uh, so you know, my my bad, my mistake. I was a little off. Uh, so that is a total of 2,536 dollars. And then, are we still in frame? Okay, so his spending, would you We've like got, to? We've uh, got rent, <clears throat> no, not rent, uh, kid bills uh, comes out uh, for the month, or for these two weeks, sorry, to a total of 80. Serbs, no thank you. <clears throat> uh, heating bill, only 50. Student loans, 36 this time. Electric bill, uh, 171. Uh, Adventures, 20. Miscellaneous, 30. Uh, nothing surprising except the electric bill to me. Um, <clears throat> That's surprising. Um, it moves around. I, I lose track, and then okay. I'm nastily surprised. I don't know, four hundred something. That's nastily surprising. But that's a total of three hundred eighty-seven, uh, leaving us with two thousand one hundred forty-nine. When it comes down to savings, um, really just uh, stuffed six hundred eighteen into summer pay, trying to catch back up. Uh, which leaves us uh, with uh, 1531 Okay. And then we go to my spending. So this is my checking account. We do not share accounts if you are not used to us. Uh, so the last two categories were wins money and this is my money. Uh, so I didn't have any bills come out this time and then his debt got the 600 that I budgeted dining out was 21 as opposed to the $30 that was budgeted i um, actually pretty proud of us for that uh, groceries in bulk got the 260 that was budgeted transportation got the 60 
that was budget all pretty much all of these were as budgeted except for home shopping so uh health got the 75 that was budgeted home shopping went four dollars over budget um and then birthdays got the five that was budgeted clothing and shoes got the 40 pet care got the 15 personal got the 50 that was budgeted so subtotal is 11.55 um with a net gain yep so that was five dollars under what was budgeted so happy about that Huzzah. leaves us with 376 dollars and then which is less than what was expected um and then for my saving, subscriptions got 168, which is less than was budgeted, but that's okay. Um, then phone got 88 as budgeted. Christmas got 16, which is $2 less. But so my problem, and this is, you know, this is an issue with budgeting. If I budget too far in advance, I get things that don't end up matching. So um, when I budgeted this, the ten the ten dollar card, because this is a, a little pull a card savings challenge. Um, and I try to budget for the two highest cards that are available to pull. Uh, so at the time that I budgeted this, the ten ten dollar card, so the you know the number ten, the ten and the eight were the two highest cards that I could have pulled. Um, instead, all that was left was the 10 and the 6. Because I pulled the 8 after I budgeted this. So, like, little differences like that are, they're okay. Like, it's not the end of the world. Um, but, you know, it does mean that sometimes the budget is a little off. Um, and then school got the 104 that was budgeted. Furniture did not get anything, even though uh, 14 was budgeted. And again, that is because we were a little off and also I went over budget in home shopping. But like, it's okay when it comes down to it. Like it's not the, it's not a huge deal. Uh, so subtotal is 376 and that is all that was left. So that is a zero based budget, which means um, every dollar has a job. It does not mean our bank account is at zero. We absolutely do not take our bank account to zero. In fact, that is why we round up all of our transactions here. You see, there's no change. Uh, because we round up our transactions, we have a, a small buffer that is like growing slowly. Um, and then once the end of the school year comes, we will reset that buffer by doing a little bit of math. Um, to reset it and then we will use that money to help get through the summer because Wynn is a substitute teacher and is not guaranteed full-time income in the summer. Uh, so that's one of the ways in which we save for that. The other way is the summer pay category here, which- old fashioned way. Yes, so we're really hoping that um, we won't be financially impacted this summer and then if we are good about it, then like we can continue to save during the summer, which would be amazing. Continue to save, continue to pay down debt. Uh, that would be fantastic. Um, but I think that's it. Um, I do also want to say that um, I've been, I watch a lot of, a lot of budgeters on YouTube and there's like a huge variety and I sometimes I feel like I'm stuck in between because we're not technically like low income put together um, aside from the fact that Wynn does have three kids and details. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and counting. does not like really get paid for two months out of every year. Um, so like it we're in a pre kind of precarious situation, but we're not technically low income. So we're like in this weird in-between space where we don't have enough money to really do what we want, but we have too much to be poor most of the time. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. And 
if you're if you also feel like you're in that in between space um and or you have kids that aren't blood related to you but you help take care of like stick around y'all stick around there's there's me a method to the madness and there's hope on the horizon honestly um i don't have a smooth uh segue for this but uh uh i will piggyback off the uh we're doing okay um only because we're doing it on purpose. When I was uh, uh, doing this myself and for a while there, when my spending was out of control, it wasn't looking great. It wasn't looking great at all. But budget beats broke every time. And never forget that you deserve financial stability. And I hope you have a great day on purpose. Bye. <laughs>